What's going on everybody? Mike McIntyre here back from All Things Sports bringing you another brand new review. This one is, well, there's no other way to say it. It's long overdue, so let's get into this brand new review. Before we begin, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification, take care of those three things. It really does help the channel out. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and let's get into this brand new review. I finally have a new pair of football boots. These are mine. I purchased these. It's been a long time since I've actually purchased my own pair of football boots. These are my favorite boots ever. Most people that have been longtime viewers of my channel know that. I've had two pairs of Mizuno Morelia Neo 2s. Finally picked up the Morelia Neo 3s, and I know the 4s just came out, but I got an insane deal on the 3s, and given that they are so expensive and they are unavailable in Canada, I kind of have to pick my battles and choose the pair that best suits my needs at the time, and if I can get a great deal on them, it's really hard to pass it up. So I have gone for the Mizuno Morelia Neo 3s, and these are new for me because they're the beta model. Now, even though these are four or five years old now, they are brand new to me and I figured I would do a review video anyway to tell you everything that you need to know. And the other reason I grabbed the threes is because the fours haven't changed much. There's a little new design on the sole plate and the heel counter, but there's nothing really that's revolutionary or you know insanely new. I went from the Mizuno Morelia Neo 2s to the threes, which is a big jump because I've gone from the regular version to the beta version. These are obviously the made in Japan model as well. So let's get into the brand new review. Now the box isn't anything special. It's a typical Mizuno box, black with the made in Japan gold branding that you see right there. You flip the box open, you are greeted with a bag and the shoes themselves. And this time they do not include the leather cream. Now because these are the beta models, Perhaps that's because there's a little less leather on them compared to the regular version or the Morelia Neo 2s that I previously had. So that's a little disappointing, the fact that they don't include any leather cream. But what are you gonna do? I mean, I still love the boots. The cream won't be a deal breaker. So here are the boots themselves. Now again, Mizuno Morelia Neo 3s, they're the beta version which for me is brand new and given that these are basically impossible to get in Canada, uh, for me it's a long time coming with this brand new review. So I've gone for the, the beta version and again I got a ridiculous deal on them, that's why I got them. The Morelia Neo 4s, they have the 4s and the 4 beta. There's nothing that's majorly different on them, they've just tweaked the sort of look of the sole plate, there's nothing really new there, and they've tweaked the look of the heel counter. They have changed the knitted fabric on the tongue on the fours, and that's about it. So everything else is the same. So for all effective purposes, this is kind of a review of the, Morel of the Morelia Neo 4, and I can't wait to actually try these on in person in a real game. I have worn them, so I do know what they feel like, and I just wanted to bring you this brand new review. So this is a classic Mizuno colorway, one that I'm a huge fan of, and it's just unfortunate that I know they won't stay this clean looking for their lifespan, but they do look really good. The white base with the black sole plate and the red accent colors, you can see the run bird there, and it has this kind of 3D elevated fabric to it. Now, the betas have a new construction compared to the classic Mizu uh, Morelia Neos. The Morelia Neo was a full leather boot basically up until sort of where your foot slid into the opening, but for all effective purposes it was leather from basically here all the way around the forefoot all the way to the other side. This was all leather, okay? So almost all of that was leather and it was just the back portion of the boot that was synthetic. With the, with the beta version, they've gone to a hybrid material of K leather in the forefoot, so basically from here just around to here. So just the forefoot area here, this is the only kangaroo leather, and the rest now is a hybrid material between synthetic and a knitted material. So you get the knitted material on the tongue, which creates a really nice opening for you to get your foot in. It is actually quite comfortable on feet. It gives you that kind of sock light feel. And then they give you the synthetic here to reinforce the upper through the midfoot, which is where you would need a lot of support and lockdown to give you that responsiveness that you're looking for in a pair of soccer cleats. They've also adjusted this kind of heel area here. Now, I've always liked the shape. I personally prefer this kind of shape to something that just is cut off here and doesn't have any kind of 
Achilles tendon piece at the back. I really like this shape. This just provides a little bit of support there. This is a knitted material, and on the inside you have a very nice suede material with these very thin memory foam pods, and then of course you have conical studs on Mizuno. So the formula here for the Beta is not too different than the Mizuno Morelli Neo 2s. It is a speed boot, it's a kangaroo leather speed boot, but with the beta version, they did try to update the whole silhouette, if you will, and bring it into the 21st century with a more responsive midfoot, hence the combination of that knitted and synthetic midfoot area. I really like this, the fact that you have both versions available too. I like that you can get the standard Morelli Neo 3 or 4, or the beta version of the three or four. I really like that you can get that option. This is, for all intents and purposes, in my opinion, obviously, the best football boot on the market. In terms of quality, there's nothing that matches the K-Leather performance and overall quality from Mizuno. This is a made in Japan boot, so again, they are quite well known now for their made in Japan models that sit on their last for 24 hours. Standard boots spend like 40 minutes on a last to get their shape and everything like that. And then of course you have this one piece sole plate which is responsible for the majority of this sort of lightweight uh, design of this boot. So you have an external heel counter which is my preference. You have that spine that goes right through the midfoot here which does provide you that support conical studs throughout and that one support stud in the middle. These are really, really good at being quite forgiving and they can pivot really well no matter the field surface that you're playing on, whether it is a an older version of field turf, this new version of field turf, which is excellent, I'm not sure if you've seen that, or natural grass surfaces. This gives you plenty of traction on any of those surfaces and it does fit really, really well. So that's pretty much it for the review portion. Let's head over to the turf, slide these things on, talk about fit and feel. To my surprise, the first time trying these Mizuno Morelia Neo 3 betas on, they fit very similarly to the made in Japan Morelia Neo 2s that I had. And like I said, I had multiple pairs of those. And in my opinion, this is a good thing. There is a slight difference. I think you do notice that one piece construction, just having a little bit more lockdown in the midfoot. I really liked the classic tongue. I like that you can adjust the laces a little bit more uh, so it was just a little bit easier to dial in the fit with the classic tongue and the laces. The one piece construction definitely encourages a little bit more lockdown, but I'm very, very thankful that it's not overly tight. So you still get the benefits of a one piece construction, but you can also dial in the fit a little bit more precisely compared to other one piece uppers. I always struggled with one piece uppers because they would be ridiculously tight through the midfoot. This one thankfully fits really, really well. In terms of sizing, I went to my standard true to size with Mizuno. And once again, on this model, they are bang on, they fit excellently. So again, if you're interested in a pair for yourself, I would strongly suggest going true to size Take care of the leather. I still have some leftover leather cream. If you do run out of that, I had a question about this. Any standard high quality premium leather cream should do the trick if you apply that regularly to keep the softness and quality of the leather upper. You can see that this has a natural sort of shine to it. And again, the fact that the boot's new, that's part of the reason. But with a, sh with a leather cream, that will help maintain that shiny plushness of that high quality kangaroo leather in the forefoot area. Huge fan of the boot, like I said, I really like all the features on it. I love the shape, I love the studs, I love the heel counter. I just like everything about it, in my opinion. This is the best football boot on the market. The whole silhouette, whether you go for the threes, the fours, the beta, everything, the made in Japan boot is next level. So let's send it back to the desk where I can wrap the video up. So there you have it guys, there's my review of the Made in Japan Mizuno Morelia Neo 3s, the beta version. Again, the 4s just came out, but they're virtually identical, barring just a couple of tweaks. And massive, massive fan. I do want to do a few more videos on these. We'll do them down in the garage studio where you can see the boot wall comparing these to the uh, Morelli Neo 2s. Just to give you a little bit more of a breakdown on the differences between the two different models. And that will be a future video. So. If you enjoyed it, Mike McIntyre, All Things Sports, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, take care. Peace.